so this dish is just one example of the delicious fresh pastas made daily here. And on top of world-class hospitality, you're also going to see spectacular views of the Milwaukee City skyline. Il Cervo is the exciting new modern Italian restaurant inside the trade. It's a hotel just steps away from Fiserv Forum in Deer District. Style and entertaining expert David Crusoe is live there this morning to tempt our taste buds and show us around a little bit. What's up, David? Hey, good morning, Molly. This is truly unbelievable. This is where I wish that TV was like smell-o-vision. It is so good in here. We are on the rooftop, the ninth floor, at a restaurant called Il Cervo. This is the newest hot spot on top of the Trade Hotel, right in the Deer District. And I cannot wait for our viewers to experience this extraordinary place. Everyone I've talked to, their jaws drop when they get to the ninth floor at El Cervo here. So I can't wait for them to dine and enjoy. I'm excited to introduce everybody to Evan Akers, the Hi. general manager. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We, we are so happy to be here. And I know that to have you. You guys are off to a great start and Absolutely. people are loving it, right? That's great to hear. We are so happy. So first of all, I'm just curious, what does Il Cervo mean? That's a great question, David. So Il Cervo means the deer in Italian and obviously being located in the heart of the deer district. It's a pretty fitting name for us. Yeah, it's so cool. I love that name. And what can really guests expect to experience here mm -hmm. at El Cervo? So obviously, we want to provide a very elevated dining experience. Um, by that same token, we want it to feel accessible and comfortable for everybody. Being right next to Pfizer Forum, we want people to feel comfortable coming in in their jerseys and their ball caps <laughs> to get a pizza and a beer before the game or before their concert or whatever the event might be but still delivering that elevated dining experience. That's what I think is so cool about the environment here is that it is definitely has a luxury feel. It's kind of has a modern flair, but it's very, very comfortable. Sure, sure. And there's places to hang out for everybody, which we'll talk about in a second. But we have to get into the food. This spread is incredible. Incredible, and I know that your chef just does an exquisite job. So tell us about uh, starting with our mozzarella dish right here. Yeah, so we picked some of my absolute favorites. Um, and obviously being in the trade hotel here, we like to highlight our trade, uh, which is cooking with our hands. So our mozzarella, we make fresh in house every day. So this is going to be our uh, tomato basil mozzarella. So it's with a tomato chutney, heavy with uh, some mulling spices, along with a uh, basil pesto. Wow, unbelievable. And yeah, the stuffed pasta looks delicious yes. right yes. here in front. So the stuffed pastas are some of my absolute favorites on the menu. Uh, same with the mozzarella. We make our pastas fresh in-house every day. We roll them, we cut them, we stuff them. Uh, and this one right here is our agnolotti. So this is going to be with a Parmesan cream sauce stuffed with a uh, sunchoke puree, which is uh, called a Jerusalem artichoke uh, with Cipollini onions and sauteed kale. Wow, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Delicious and it looks great too. And oh my gosh, this place <laughs> here, the steak Florentine, unbelievable. Yeah, last but certainly not least, as you can tell, this is our steak Florentine. So it's about a two to two and a half pound steak. It is a lot of food uh, and it is a cut between um, a New York steak and a filet. So this is served with banana peppers, some uh, malt, smoked malt on salt, uh, rosemary and then a um, a chimichurri or a uh, it's basically a loose pesto sure. and a horseradish cream sauce. Wow mm. I mean this is what's so neat we have an artichoke dish here too the people and I have to say that although it is probably one of your more simple this focaccia is unbelievable it is mm -hmm. so good tell us about mm -hmm. it. Yeah so we make along with everything else we make our focaccia in-house daily uh, and that is over a um, roasted garlic fonduta. So a fonduta is like a, a melted cheese. Uh, oh. This one is a mascarpone cheese, again, that we also make in-house. I'm telling you, you got to like dip it into oh, yeah. the fonduta. Oh, it's yeah. unbelievable. It is to die for. I could eat this all day. Cocktails. Mm -hmm. Cocktails. Tell us a little bit mm -hmm. about what guests can experience with some of yeah. your signature drinks. Absolutely. So we really wanted to go with um, some modern style cocktails. Uh, obviously always with Italian influences. So here we have some of my favorite spirits that we have on the menu that are incorporated in some of our cocktails. Obviously, when you're talking about Italian cocktails, you have to have Campari. It's the basis <laughs> for the Negroni. Yes. Uh, so that's one of my absolute favorites. But then we have some Amaros here. We have Luxardo Amaro Abano. 
uh, a little bit of a lighter Amaro with Amaro Montenegro. Uh, an aperitif here that is a bergamot flavored liqueur with italicus. Wow. And then one of my favorite vermouths, Carpino Bianco. So great. Delicious. Good drinks, good food. Tell us quickly what kind of special spaces we have in sure. the restaurant. So we have quite a few different spaces within the restaurant. Obviously, you can see our dining room here with a heck of a view. On the other side of the restaurant, we have our Four Seasons room, surrounded 270 degrees by glass, again, with a heck of a view. <laughs> uh, we have the bar area over there as well, providing more of a bar experience. And then we have our very large patio out here. Last but not least, we have our Cream City room on the other side. It is a private dining room uh, with a private patio. Yeah, I mean, I am telling you, Molly, it is so cool in here. Everywhere you look, as Evan kept saying, spectacular views. Mm -hmm. It is spectacular views, spectacular food, spectacular drinks. It's great for private dining with friends. The environment is amazing. So I cannot wait to dine with you and the Morning Blend team up here. We have to make a reservation, and I encourage our viewers, make your reservation. This is truly an incredible experience and we are so lucky to have El Cherbo right here in the Deer District. Molly, I, I know you're jealous of this food. Oh, I am. I couldn't agree more, but I could not pay attention to any of those views because I'd be so into that delicious food. David, thank you so much. It looks delish. You got the plum assignment we will see you today. Here soon. Thank you so much. And to make a reservation at Il Cervo inside the trade across from Pfizer Forum, just go to their website. It's Il Cervo. Look at the spelling there, restaurant.com. Again, be sure to look at the spelling that you see there on your screen. Again, it's Il Cervo, restaurant.com.